Geared up to handle 11,000 men a day, the government's demob machine gets into full swing with a broadcast statement from Mr. George Isaacs, Minister of Labour. Industry and commerce want to get going, so you will find that you will be welcomed, not only with thankfulness for your safe return, with gratitude for your victories, but also because industry and your fellow workers are looking forward to seeing you back at the bench or in the office or on the farm, helping to bring the prosperity which should be the reward for our great endeavours during the past six years. The mobs will reach a million and a half by the end of the year and three million by next June. Already back in Civvy Street with a hero's ticket is ex-Flight Lieutenant Edward Nold, DFC, who has changed his uniform for a uniform. After six years flying in Bomber Command with the Pathfinder Force, blowing Germany to pieces, I am now back on the job again on the 16 route. It is perfectly wizard being back again. The flood of ex-service men and women brings new vigour and a new outlook to every walk of life. Ex-Ren Petty Officer Pinnock leaves a Navy store for her old job. Good morning, Miss Pinnock. Good morning. And how do you like being back in civilian life once again? Well, it all feels very strange at first. The difference between selling costly fur coats in a famous Oxford Street store to issuing bell-bottom trousers to naval personnel. Well, sorry, Major Nash, how do you like being back home again? Chivy Street. Well, I don't know, given your old rank, RSM Alice. I don't mind it at all after having the basin of Narvik, Crete and El Alamein. I think Chivy's better than all that. Not so bad, buddy. Up and down the apples and pears. No. Well, Alice, old boy, putting all jokes on one side, with all the army's good life, with all the lining up and queuing up, going without this, going without that, I'll tell you this much, you give me some in the life and I'm very pleased to be back on the old job again. What say you, chum? Blimey, not off, bloody! Now here's a man who typifies millions of ex-Tommy Atkins now falling right into the old breakfast time routine. Buried behind their morning papers, creatures of habit still, they're behaving exactly as they did the morning the last war broke out in 1939. On that day, too, they nearly missed the 100,000 of them went from Dunkirk to Alamein and had business from the Pacific to the Rhine. Yes, they're quite a type. Well, Civvy Street, here's your man.